a just waking up for the most part so um if i look fucked up i don't give a fuck and neither should you because this video is about knowledge not some fucking beauty contest y'all got me What a wonderful taste, man. Man. I be experimenting with shit, man. Not only do I just use the protein shake, but I put the detox tea in that bitch, too. That's why you see that. Look at that. I'm from the hood, dude. I, I do hood shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Always, forever. Anyway, man, let's get into this shit real quick because I got to get the fuck up out of here. I don't feel like working out. I'm hungry, you know what I'm saying? But I'm happy than a motherfucker. I love being off work, man. So let's talk about this shit real quick. The titles. I'm going to tell y'all like this, man. I'm going to say it till I'm blue in the face. Jeez. That's pretty slick. All right. When you um, like somebody, you give them the power to hurt you, man. No way around it. Y'all got to understand this shit. But first of all, you got to understand this. Every woman and man is capable of being a good woman and man. So, since this is the case, every woman and man is capable of being a good woman and man, right? We got that? All right, good. I hope so. There's no excuse for them not to be a good woman or man to you. I'm going to say that shit again. Every woman or man is capable of being a good woman or man. It's a choice. Just like it's a choice for them to be a bad woman or man. So, if they are not being a good woman or man to you, this is a choice. It's not an accident. It's not some coincidence that you done built up in your fucking head. It's the fucking truth. They don't want to be a good woman or man to you. And you must accept that and move the fuck on. A lot of people, oh, they won't text me back or, or talk to me or whatever. Yeah, because they don't want to be a good woman or man to you. Plain and simple. Stop fucking dabbling and trying to figure out, oh, why this and why that? Maybe this, maybe that. No, I just told you. They don't want to be a good woman or man to you. Period. You might want to be one of them, right? You might see the good woman or man in them, which is making you want the like, man, why can't they just be good to me or whatever? But they don't want to be. So you must accept that. Even if they was in a relationship with you, it don't mean they won't cheat. It don't mean that they're going to be who they supposed to be, what you deserve. You see what I mean? And another thing y'all got to realize is some people don't want you. They just don't want others to have you, which is the same thing. I don't want to be the man or woman that you deserve. But you know what? I don't want you to find one that you deserve either. So I'm going to every time you try to leave, I'm going to act good and act nice and all this. Right. And a lot of y'all falling for that shit. Because y'all don't understand that you, you're you confused by the good behavior and the bad behavior. You must understand a motherfucker has a choice. So if they're not going to choose to roll with you and be good to you 24-7, not perfect, nobody's perfect, but 24-7, then they don't want you, man. If they really did, they would do that. Maybe if you did something, let's say you cheated on them and they taking you back. Yeah, you would probably see some mixed shit there. They probably be good to you one day, then they thinking like, man, they cheated on me, man. I don't want to leave them, but you know, I'm, I'm kind of let me distance myself from them today a little bit. You know, yeah, something like that. Maybe y'all arguing or something like that. Yeah, but when you are uh, being good to somebody and they still doing this shit, no excuses and all that. Come on, y'all. Come on, man. At the end of the day, I tell y'all all the time, man. Stop thinking that um somebody you like, there's nobody else you're going to like like that or find like that. Get that shit out your fucking head. There's always somebody better. What do I mean by this? If I found the woman that I feel like I'm going to marry and all that, I'm fine with that. Fine. I'm not even looking for something better. Even if there was something better, this is perfect for me, right? I'm good, right? But let's just say she started doing some fuckery. There's always somebody better. There's always somebody richer, always somebody look better, whatever. Better personality. There's always somebody better at certain things. Nobody's perfect, right? Is what I'm trying to tell y'all. 
But if I'm happy with a person, who gives a fuck if there's some something better or they better at this or whatever? Maybe they are better at this, but the person I'm with, maybe she's better at that or whatever. That's why who cares if they make you happy? Bottom line. And the bottom line is this. It's a choice, y'all. It's a choice if a person wants to um, reach out to you and see how your day is going and all that. Stop thinking it's something you did or something wrong with you. No, they don't want to do it. Stop thinking, oh, I'm going to get with this guy and I'm going to make him commit. No, you're not. It's, a cho it's his choice. It's not yours. It's your choice to let, let him hurt you by thinking I'm going to make him commit. Yeah, that's your choice. But to make him commit, it's not your choice. I don't care how good you look and all that. Get that out your head. Why do I say get this out your head? Because it's important for you to understand when you get this bullshit out your head of I'm I'm the bad bitch and, and I'm going to make the man commit. All these men are dropping down on my feet. When you get that out your head, you'll be able to see clearly who really like you and who really don't. And then you will clearly be able to make the right choice of who you should pick. Until then, you're going to be clogged up with a bunch of pride and bullshit that is unnecessary. And you're not going to be able to see who really fucking with you. You might hear me talk shit like like some Jay Z shit about money. Let's get it. Uh, Gucci shoes, boat ride, all that. Yeah, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? Even the, and even like I feel like I'm the best man in the world and all that shit. But if I'm dealing with a woman, I have to pipe down and make sure she really fuck with me. It doesn't affect how I feel about myself, right? Because I feel like I'm a special person. But I need the key is how do they feel about you? You're dealing with, so you're going to give them the power to ultimately hurt you. So it's important for you to see how does this person really feel about me? Only way to find out is to pipe the fuck down, get off your high horse and, and be humble. Like, hmm, okay, yeah, I know I'm the shit, whatever. I'm just giving y'all examples. Yeah, I know I'm a special per. Let's say that so people don't think to take it wrong i know i'm a special person but now let me see that this if this person feels the same way as me you can't do all that if you if you on that high horse you can't do it you'll you'll be deceiving yourself and all this coming back and forth shit you gotta put an end to that even if it's somebody you're just getting to know you could flat out tell them, here's what you do if somebody's giving you mixed signals. Oh, they want to act hot and cold and play these games that people like to play and act like they not interested. I'm so high value. I'm so busy. Oh, I'm so fucking busy in life. Okay. Here's how you do this. Look, man, I, 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 you know what? I appreciate it. You know, I, I appreciate you even considering it, blah, blah, blah. But, uh, you know, I can't sit around and deal with this. Uh, you don't got to say it like that. But basically what you're going to say is, you don't seem like you're interested, so I'm leave. I'm a, I'm gonna just go on. I'm gonna leave you alone. Basically, if they got if they really interested, I'm not gonna say they are gonna beg and say no. Nah, I don't do that, but they'll they'll change. They'll be like, you know what? Nah, my bad. You right. I should. I, I you you deserve some uh, type of effort or something. You'll see it. But guess what, people? People who are really interested in you, you really ain't gotta do that. But if, like I say, we talk about mixed signals right here. So, you know, the motherfuckers that want to come and go and all them, them people, you got to do this to them. You got to give them the choice. Hey, you want to come and go? Okay. Either you're going to do this or I'm leaving you alone. Don't keep letting them come back and forth. Because a lot of them are only doing that because somebody they like didn't, uh, it's messing, uh, somebody they like is acting up or they don't want you to like somebody else. They want you to keep liking them. Shit like that. But they have no intentions on liking you, right? When people want something in life, it don't even have to be a woman or man. They gonna give some. They gonna put effort into it. They gonna choose to do what it takes to uh, get that to obtain that. So, if somebody is trying to make you happy or be with you or whatever, they're gonna choose to put effort into that i think some people what happens with a lot of people is they say well you don't know this guy everybody thinks this guy's bad or this girl's bad but you don't know them because you don't see the good in them and that may be true because they probably are they probably do have a good side of them but you got to remember it's a choice 
It's a choice, y'all. If you want you understand it's a choice for somebody to be good to you or not, then you understand you really don't have no control over that. And then you understand how important it is to pick the right person. I have zero control over if I pick a girl and she cheats. Some people will say, well, you should treat her better. She wouldn't cheat. Nah, she would just leave. <laughs> Fly it out, right? If you was that bad of a person, a woman would leave. So why wouldn't they leave? Because they want you, they want to keep you around and shit like that. That's why. But anyways, y'all don't have control over that. So that's why it's so important to pick the right woman. Like, let's say I pick a woman and we marry and get divorced. I don't have no control over if she's going to div uh, divorce, rape me, or put me on child support or whatever. But if I pick the right woman, the, the chances of this is more slim. See? You don't have no control over whether a man's going to be a dad to a, a kid if you have a kid by him. But if you try to screen out the person, who they really are, and how they really act, and and do they choose to do right things in life? How do they think about it? What are their morals? Stuff like that. It lowers your chances of dealing with deadbeats and shit. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't completely erase it, but it helps. It helps. But it's really not your choice. Once a, once a man has a kid by you, you can't make him be a dad. Only thing you could do is hopefully you know, screen out a motherfucker and, and, and hopefully pick the right person, right? Even if it don't work with you in a relationship, you know, you do have some women who have decent fathers to their kids, very good fathers to their kids, probably because them women kind of screened them out. But again, it's a choice, y'all. So it's a choice if somebody want to text you back. It's a choice if somebody likes you. All this shit is their choice. It's not your choice. So if they're not doing it, then they don't, they choosing not to like you, plain and simple. Y'all wasting time. You wasted too much time. Uh, do they like me? Uh, maybe they like me. No, man. Trust me, man. If they really, really liked you, you would know. I mean, maybe if you don't know somebody yet, it's kind of difficult. But like, if you've been interacting with a guy, you fucked a guy and he's still acting like that or a woman, you done took a woman out on a date or something. She's still acting like that. Come on, man. These, these are signs of no. So it's, some women will say, oh, I'm busy. You know, they, they'll tell guys I'm busy and all that bullshit. Come on, man. A woman that is interested in you, she's not going to say that to you. Even if she was busy. She might be like, oh, I'm sorry, I, I can get back to you. I was busy or something like that. But she's not going to be saying, I'm too busy to interact with you at all or put interest in you or see you eventually. Nah, that's not going to happen. So why, why, why is it important to know these things? Same thing with the man. You know, he's not going to say, he's not going to fuck you and say, oh, I don't know if I really want you and all that bullshit. You know, men, men know what they want. It's important because it helps you uh, not waste time with somebody. You know, you might like somebody and the more you like a person, the more likely you're you're going to hold on to. Ah, maybe they just this. So you keep thinking, keep thinking and keep thinking. But really, it's just a lie. And you just keep stringing yourself alone. Like, you know what I'm saying? But if you see effort, I mean, you got to give them the benefit of the doubt. But I'm talking about people blatantly, you know, not hitting you back for days and shit like that. Man, don't waste your time on that shit. Don't waste your time on that shit, man. Because all they doing is hitting back other people. That's what they doing. Nobody really want to be alone. I don't see too many people that fucking busy in life, y'all. And I damn sure don't see nobody who comes across somebody that they, oh, damn, I can't believe I met this girl the other night. Man, this girl seemed like she, she's something special. But you know what? I'm not going to text her for four days. I'm going to text her once for four days and text her once again for four days. Come on, man. No. No. Maybe if y'all interact a lot and then y'all take a couple days off, that's different. But y'all still always get back together and start interacting. We talking about motherfuckers. Ain't nobody doing that, period. You want to make sure a motherfucker thinks you're special. You got to. That's the only chance you got. It's and that's even and that's even if you that ain't even guaranteed. A person could love you to death and then choose to not love you 10 years later. Choose to leave you alone 10 years later. So even when people have high interest in you, you still have a chance of it not fucking panning out. So just imagine people who have no interest in you, really. 
Man, come on. Why give them your energy? No, they don't deserve it. I'm not saying you got to be mean. You can't speak to people. That's different. But give them the energy of, I'm trying to be with you. They don't deserve it, man. And they will take that energy. Men will take your sex. Women will take your energy. And not really want you. I don't know how many times I got to say it. Just because a man's fuck you don't mean he really wants you. This is the danger of being a female. They got to understand this shit. Just because a man thinks you good looking don't really mean that he really want you. Your looks and who you are are two different things. Even though your looks is part of who you are, it's not ultimately who you are. Some people will fall in love with a woman's looks, fuck her and all that shit and realize they don't even want the woman or whatever. And then some people, maybe they do want the woman, but you know what? Here's this, here's that choice shit I've been telling y'all about. Yeah, I like that woman, but you know, I want some more women. See, I, I could, I could be faithful to her if I wanted to, but I'm, I don't want to. See what I mean? These men, every man on earth, every last one, nobody, when I say good and bad man, nobody say, oh, you a bad person. No, all these men, all of them have the potential to be a great person and to a woman if they want to. Great father, whatever, great businessman. They all are built by God special. Do they choose to? That's the question. Do they choose to? That is the question, y'all. Same thing with the women. Do they choose to do this? That's it's that's what it all boils down to when we're dealing with women and men. Choices. This is one of the most important um what you would call traits, attractive traits of the person. Everybody say, uh, swag and all that bullshit. Nah, they choice, they decision making. Because they decision making ultimately uh, reflects on what they've done in the past and everything. What they're going to do in the future, all that. So you got a bad, a bad decision maker as a man wanting you to let him be the leader of the house, but your, your, y'all lights about to get cut off and he's going to go buy some Jordans. I'm just saying. These things matter. Or maybe he gets pregnant by you. Ah, yeah, I know I'm supposed to be a man and, and step up and take care of my kid, but I'm just going to keep fucking some women and more women and get some more pussy. Horrible decision maker. Instead of doing what is right. You see what I'm saying? Straight up, far as a woman, yeah, that guy looks hot. And I got a great man at home, but you know what? I'm going to go fuck him anyway. My man won't know about it because I'm a woman and it's easy to get away with. Come on, man. Horrible decisions. Or he's just in my ear. He don't even know me, but he's in my ear. You know what I mean? And, and it seemed like my my boyfriend at home don't do this anymore or as much. So, yeah, I, I missed this. I'm going to go ahead and fuck with this guy. Even though he's never been down like your boyfriend. That's a, that's something that women got to realize. You know, a man that done fucked you a billion times and he's still showing love. Sometimes it might seem like. The ones that are, don't know you and never fuck, it seems like, yeah, they, they, they doing something more special or something. But really, they ain't doing nothing that your man you got at home ain't done. You just might be so used to it that you don't see it or something like that. You know, like I talk about the 80% versus the 20, too many people leaving 80% for this 20% for no reason. Never would I leave an 80% perfect woman for some 20%. We're going to have to work on that 20% or something, communicate something. You know what I mean? Why would you leave an 80% female or male for 20%? Anyways, y'all, when people don't want you, they don't want nobody else to have, have you. This shit applies to everything. It ain't just some fucking ex or somebody. You. It ain't just some ex. Or let's put it like this. It ain't just some ex or somebody you're in a relationship with. It could be somebody that ain't even never fucked. Y'all ain't even never fucked yet. I've seen men with my own fucking eyes get mad at women for talking to some other man. And all they want to do is just fuck that woman. Or I've even seen men get mad at a, a woman who's in a relationship with a guy who won't fuck him. That dude don't really want you. You just want to fuck and he mad that that girl won't do it. Who does that? I've seen it. I've seen it with my own. How you get mad at a woman for not? Think about that. I'm going to get mad at a woman who won't cheat on her man with me. That's crazy. That's crazy. But yeah, man. Beware of people. 
I'm going to give y'all this, man. This is the most important trait to finding the right person. You got to learn how to love rejection. That sounds crazy, right? But it's not. Why? Because the when you love rejection, you don't love the fact that you get rejected. Well, let's not say love rejection. Let's say learn how to handle it. Because if once you learn how to handle rejection, you won't keep... Uh, dibbling and dabbling with shit that you you won't be dealing with shit that you know that ain't fucking with you you be like you are okay they don't like me i'm gonna go to some somebody else who does it won't shatter your ego like, oh man they didn't like me man i'm about to go jump off of a bridge now you know people don't like people for a certain reason it ain't always because you're not good enough it could be the dumbest shit it could be because they hurt you never know they could be in a situation where they're hurt right now it's all type of shit so stop thinking because a motherfucker rejected you that this is what that means. As far as a woman, most women don't get rejected because a man wants to fuck them. So you stop thinking because you got accepted that, you know, this means this guy likes me. See, it's, it's kind of the opposite. Women are dealing with a little bit of opposite. They're dealing with, you know, who's really, really, who's really genuinely accepted with accepting me versus with men. We have to deal more with, um, why did she reject me? Or Well, women deal with rejection too, but not as much because most men, if they want to fuck, they're not going to reject you at first. They'll reject you after they fuck. You see, that's the difference, I think. But um, rejection is it's, it's, it's a blessing in disguise, you know? I seen somebody post something today that said they're single now after Valentine's Day and shit like that. It goes back to the choice. Like, a person could choose... Any given time to leave you, you have no control over that. You give them the, the control to hurt you. They cheated on you. You gave them the control to do that once you like them. That's why it's important to like the right person. Plain and simple, y'all. See, everybody worry about who the person is. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, they got this, tattoos, uh, this height. Oh, okay, that's fine. Now let's see if they really like you and who they really are. Because without that, none of that shit matters. Oh, she got a nice ass and all this and that. None of that shit matters. That girl ain't really fucking with me. None of it. None of it. Unless, of course, you just a man that's trying to fuck. Then that's a different story. And that's what happens a lot. And that's why a lot of times, unfortunately, the men who seem like they don't really care, it's more attractive to a lot of women. But they only don't care because all they want to do is fuck. It's plain and simple. If they wanted to be a good man, a good if they wanted to commit to that woman, I guarantee you it, they would act like they care. It wouldn't be none of this, oh, I'm busy, I'm going to text you back 20,000 hours later. It wouldn't be none of that. I'm not saying people are obligated to text people back and shit. But if somebody claimed they interested in you, then they would be doing that. If not, they full of shit, block Leave them alone. Something. You know, either block them or, or, or give them, tell them you about to just leave them alone. Fuck it. What else can you do? People say, well, why do you, why would you, why do people block people that uh, play games? Because for one, so they can't come back to play games. And for two, what if they succeeded? See, a lot of people like, like um, this girl Tamika said on Facebook, good women exist. You just can't run game on them. Right. So what if these good some of these good women wasn't wasn't able to catch the game you was running? And you succeeded at your game. That's why that's why you block them. Once you see, oh, you was running game. You was full of shit, liar. I'm blocking you because there's no telling how to the limit of how they could have hurt you or affected your life or something. Example. If I'm dealing with a lying woman that likes to set up men and rob them in hotels and she, oh, you fine as fuck, Twan, let's go to a hotel tonight and kicking and all that. And what what if I didn't catch the the, the uh, vibe and shit to feel like, ah, oh, this girl, I see what she's doing. What if I didn't catch that and I got robbed or killed or something? See, that's why you block them and don't speak to them. That's bullshit. Ain't no telling what they, the extreme of what they could have affected your life. Period, point blank. It ain't about no feelings hurt. It ain't about... uh any of that people all oh, his feelings is hurt let them laugh all oh, her feelings is hurt let them laugh you just doing what's best for you and personally when i tell somebody i don't i'm not fuck with them no more it's not personal it's just for it's personal for me but it ain't personal against them 
It's just, okay, you don't really fuck with me, so I can't fuck with you. I don't have the energy for you. I don't have the time for you. I have way too much to offer and lose to deal with you. Why would I deal with a woman playing games and talking to multiple men when there's a woman that deserves everything I got to offer? Same thing with y'all females. Why would you deal with a man playing games and shit? It doesn't matter how much you like them. Get that shit out your head. Remember, there's somebody else that you could like just as much, if not better, because they'll like you back, which will trump how much you like that guy, period. No point. So like I said, why would a woman deal with that? You have too much to offer and lose to be dealing with somebody half-stepping with you or just got you around just because they don't think you're good enough for them to, for them to act right. Because remember, uh, being a good woman or man, it's a choice. If you was that special to them, they would be like, oh, hold the fuck up. Let me act right for this. If somebody said, hey, we're going to give you a million dollars. If you could prove that you are uh, husband material, they can't, a group of guys, we're going to give all, whoever proves they're the best husband material within six months, you win a million dollars. Motherfucker, with, man, I'm trying to tell you. Same thing with women. It's a choice, y'all. It's a choice. So, that's how I see it, man. So that behavior of, ah, you, you, you ain't that special and shit. Don't deal with it. Accept it and leave them alone. Because when you find people who do feel like you that special, you'll see the difference. You'll understand. I think some of y'all, some people have never experienced somebody who really likes them like that. So they don't understand. They don't think it exists or they don't know the difference. I have experienced that. I think every woman I've been with, far as relationship wise i i don't think they were bad they might have done some bad shit but i don't really consider them bad but again a choice remember choice see they i think all of them are good women but unfortunately they chose to do certain shit you know what i mean and i wasn't perfect either so i'm not saying that either you know but one thing about me i choose to be a one i i want to be a one woman and man that's a choice i don't have to be see i don't have to be I got the money, the looks, all that. I don't have to be a, a one-woman man. It's a choice. I take value in that. I don't want to put my dick in every woman. I just don't. Why would I? I think having sex with a woman you care about is way better, dog. I'm not saying that just... I'm not saying I don't like pussy like the next guy. I do. I do. But not like sleeping with a woman you care about. It's, it's different. It's night and day to me. You know what I mean? I feel something when I'm sleeping with a woman I care about. When I'm just sleeping with a random person. I don't feel nothing really. Kind of make grosses me out a little bit. Like, why did I do that? I don't know why I did that. Matter of fact, I don't even believe in sleeping with somebody you don't like. You don't got to love them, but you got to have some type of attraction to them. But it still don't compare to somebody you've been with and you've got this this uh, bond with. Nah, it's not the same, dog. The sex is better, everything. And if anybody say different, I don't know what world you live in. That's why I don't understand men sometimes. When you, Why are you doing this cheating shit? You know, people say cheating's only mental with women. I think it's mental with men, too. I think a lot of men... Um, Mentally, they don't love that woman. That's why they cheating. Because if you mentally love a woman, you're going to want to come to her to sleep with her. Because it's deeper than just sex. It, my bad, y'all. When you sleep with a woman, it's deeper than just sex. You feel that woman's soul and all that. So I don't agree with that. I think men cheat too because of um, mental shit too. But it's a choice. So once again, we talk about choices. If a woman says she's going to do something and she don't do it, that was her choice. You know what I mean? It might not mean much, but it might mean something to that person. If I tell a woman, hey, I'm going to do this. I got you. I promise. And I don't do it. What you think that woman going to look at? Oh, this dude full of shit. He's lying. It don't matter. I should I should have never said I was going to do it, right? These things matter, y'all. But let me get in here, man. Anyways, man, it's a choice for a woman or man to be good to you. If you're not seeing it, then obviously they don't want to uh, be that to you. Plain and simple, man. Don't waste your time. Why waste time? Ain't that how a lot of us got in the positions of being played and hurt and used to begin with? You know, not accepting the fact that a person really ain't fuck with you like that, right? Got to be honest with yourself because what a lot of times what happens is you start getting caught up with the wrong person. And then a right person come along, you can't fucking get to them because you caught up with this shit. 
You know, your feelings and all that, but especially a woman, your feelings is caught up with this guy. You can't like the other guy, even if he is right. You can't do it. As a man, you caught up with this woman, fucking this one and this one, and the right woman's right there. Oh, nah, I, I, I got to keep fucking women. I got too much pussy on deck. You know, right woman right there. Or it could be the right woman you fucking, but you want to keep fucking other women, so you're going to pass up on her. But hey, man, y'all don't believe it? I don't know what to tell y'all, man. I'm out this motherfucker, man. Anyway, it's a choice. And and like I said, when they come back to you, when they come back to you and then they play their games again and all that, all that is is they don't want somebody else to have you. There's no, no other reason for it. Why would you come back? Ah, oh, I love you so much. I'm sorry. Come back and do the same shit again. Over and over again. It makes no sense. You know, people always are going to not want somebody to... um have somebody that they had why do i say this not always but you say well if a person don't want somebody why the fuck do they care if, if somebody else wants them because they still want you to want them it, it really ain't about for the most well yeah it's, it's about them it's about you finding somebody else too they just don't want you to love somebody else like you love them they don't want to lose that and that's what i say about uh People who really don't want you to. It's the same thing. It doesn't matter if you've been in a relationship with them or you just texting people you just got a number from last night. It's the same thing. If they really don't want you, that don't mean they're going to come out and say it. They're going to hit you back. Well, why they keep hitting me back if they if they don't want me? Because they just want you. They want you to like them. They want you to boost their ego or whatever. Fuck. Men, they want you to sleep with them. They don't want you to fuck the other guy. They want you to fuck them. Why they fuck other people. Women want you to talk to them and give them attention while they give attention to another guy that they really want. Y'all get me? Stop thinking these motherfuckers just reading Bibles and shit and they're not talking to other people. It's rare. It's very rare. Only people who really ain't talking to a bunch of people are people who are really trying to find uh, one per uh, that special person. You know, they might be talking to other people too, but not on that type of level. They really looking for a relationship versus I'm just talking to other people because I'm a player and all this bullshit. Y'all get the point, man. I'm out.